Hi, my name is Hashmi. I am working as a test team lead in Embetel Technologies. In this video, I am going to demonstrate about how we do hill testing in Embetel Technologies. We have experience with uh, testing with comfort related issues and also lighting related ECU hill validation. Here we tested both functionality and electrical test, uh, electrical test with LVM and HVM profiles. Let's start the demo. First, we will start with the hill hardware setup. This is complete uh, hill setup. In this hill setup, this is VT system part. This is 12 racks VT system part. So in this VT system, it was connected with multiple cards. This complete system will work with Windows embedded software. So the first card, I want to explore uh, each card. The first card is uh, VT6051A. It is a PC card. It's a real time uh, card. In this card, it will be having technical data like uh, this much uh, RAM size and ROM size. So in this card, it will be uh, having a Kenu software in it. From our laptop Kenu software, we have to take remotely this from this card. So there are other cards like VT7001A and VT1004A, VT2004A and VT2820A and VT2516A and VT6104 and VT system supply card. So these all cards used in different uh, purpose. Let's start with exploring each VT system card. So this is the VT system cabinet. This is the multiple cards on VT system. The first card is VT6051A. This is Windows, Windows embedded software PC card. This is real time PC card. From this card, uh, I will be taking remotely from Keno software uh, from our laptop. This is VT7001A card. This is actually a power supply card. Suppose the ECU normally in normal bench setup will be sending uh, power supply from external power supply. Here in this case, we'll be using a VT7001A card. It was having two outputs. From any one of output, we can connect ECU. Other, either we can also connect parallelly to ECUs. So it, it was having a technical range. According to this, we can set multiple, uh, old, like we can set range of voltage and also it will support up to two amps current connection. Uh, if we want to go for more than two amps, we are using, we have to use another external power supply. This is the external supply card. It connect through this card. We can, it, it kind of thing like we can share current from supply from here to this card. So this card will send voltage like to the ECU. ECU. The rail side it will having a phonics connection, the battery and ground connection. From here it will be going to the ECU. So this all supply will be controlling from uh, VT system control panel from Keno. All VT system variables through we can control all these cards. We'll move to the next card VT1004A. This is a load card. This is to for simulate uh, electrical load directly. It, it will be having four channels. It is also having a technical risk. We have to use according to that. We can use. So my in my case, like I was having comfort actuator connected to the my ECU. That actuator it will take 4 amps current when it was running. So I want to simulate high load and low load current. I want to set 5 amps current. I can set from this card. Even if I want to simulate low current, I can set from this card. This card will use to simulate load. And also we can measure everything by using this card system variables. It is using, useful for uh, test fault for high load and low load current faults. Next, it is a VT2004A card. It is a simulation and measurement card. This card also having four channels. It will it will work like as a decade resistor. We can set multiple resistance to the ECU. Suppose our ECU is having a sensor simulation. When we are sending, when we have to set uh, some uh, resistance to the ECU. That lines we have to connect here to the channel. 
suppose the ec will detect uh, one condition when uh, voltage uh, is uh, converted 12 voltage to the 5 voltage we have to calculate according to the v equal to ir formula and we have to set that resistance then by using this card we can set that kind of simulation uh, simulation like it is like a exact uh, decade resistant uh, kind of thing we can set multiple resistance so next card is vt2820 it is a relay card suppose I want to simulate a open open circuit. I can simulate from this cut. This was having 16 uh, relays, uh, multiple relays. We have we can connect up to our, our iOS. So next is VT 2516A cut. It is a digital cut. So in in ECU generally it will be having iOS on connected with external interface. So ECU get power supply from power uh, power from power supply. And ECU drive after meeting certain conditions, power power to the act like connected IVOS. It will be the digital signal either analog. So that measurement we can, if it is a digital signal, we can measure from this cut, and also we can simulate the uh, uh, digital inputs to the uh, EC. This is the cut. The purpose we can measure digital signal, and also we can simulate. And one more card, this is a VT6104 card. This is network communication card. It, it was having four channels. Like, uh, suppose, uh, uh, like generally, uh, we'll be connecting a network card. Suppose we are having a CAN or LIN, can or LIN uh, communication with our issue. That CAN high, CAN low, and power supply and ground line will be connecting from generally like VN device, like VN1640, like that. Uh, uh, Vector device will be connecting to DB9 to the ECU. The same connections, it will support uh, multiple uh, channels. It will be having three CAN channels and one LIN channel. Same how VN1640 kind of device, how it will work. It will work same like this card. So from this card, we can connect uh, uh, CAN, CAN lines, either LIN lines to the ECU. Uh, the rail side will be having connections. From this, we can see. Uh, we can connect network communication card, communication thing. So this another one more card is there VTC8920. This is VT system power supply card. The AC current uh, will take from 220 voltage externally. This then it will take and it will convert into the 12 volts and it will supply to the VT system. This is that card purpose. These all our cards are used mainly to the ECU IO uh, validation, like short circuit fault. Uh, Simulating short circuit fault, open circuit faults, and also shorting high to ground kind of things. This fault testing, and also like IO devices load currents and also voltage, uh, and also we can do LVM profile testings, like sending voltage for long time and dropping it uh, under voltage for long time. The functionality of issue again working normally or not, doing jump and interruption uh, load uh, current things. This kind of all things we can do from VT system, and also it is useful for do uh, system integration test even. In PCB, it will be having different components, like from one component to the other component, it will be sending converting some. Um, according to the principle, it will convert that current and it will send to the another uh, component and board. So in the board, we will be having test points where we can measure the uh, things on VT system directly. Uh, like on uh, electrical currents, low low electrical currents. That system integration also possible in this VT system. These are the overview of VT system cards and how it works. Uh, uh, the purpose of VT system also. The main purpose is like a uh, validate ECU functional test, also like validating IO hardware validation, fault simulation, and also like electrical test. These are the benefits of. Uh, VT system. Here we, the main uh, everything like we can drive test uh, cases from capital scripting from Keno. We can measure all uh, all simul all voltages and from uh, voltage currents, false all information from capital script itself. No need to measure it by oscilloscope or multimeter physically on normal bin setup. This is the uh, the benefit of VT. Uh, Using hill system with the uh, VT cards. Uh, yes, that's that. That's all about VT system cards and how VT system works. 
नेक्स्ट मिल मूव टू द अपर पार्ट दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड पैनल सो फ्रॉम ऑल दिस कार्ड द केबल कनेक्शन फ्रॉम रेड साइड ऑफ दिस कार्ड दिस वॉज कनेक्टेड टू द डायरेक्टली टू दिस पैनल दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड पैनल ऑल कार्ड वायरिंग वॉज कनेक्टेड टू दिस कैन बस नेटवर्क कार्ड डिजिटल कार्ड सिम्युलेशन कार्ड मेजरमेंट एंड लोड कार्ड एंड पावर कार्ड एंड From here we can directly connect our ECU uh, lines. This is for like we can also connect IOS here directly and also uh, CAN communication like select like DBNN connections. And this is standard panel we can directly connect our ECU connection from here. And little up there is one more box. This is project specific adapter box. The all connection the rail rail uh, connections. it goes to the ecu we made a cable bus from here from here directly all uh, ecu external interface connect, connecting wiring harness this go to the it's go to the ecu from this cable bus the it is like ecu harness directly from adapter box it is connecting to the ecu directly like this is project related thing we can uh multiple box we can create as a project we can shuffle the project adapter box this is the standard panel that's all no i would like to explore how actually we are testing with this hardware we are using vector uh, tool environment keno vt studio and vt system VT system I already explored it. Now we'll come to the Canu uh, and VT Studio. So VT Tool VT Studio is a tool. Uh, it is developed for module design validation. So here we are writing all functional test scripts and electrical test scripts into the test units in the Capel. By using all VT system uh, system variable, we are uh, actually doing this uh, script writing. we are following a uh, aspice process uh, for uh, this entire test development so according to aspice base point uh, we develop a script there for requirements we get from door stool with in the door we will make a uh, like a test specification we will write a manual test steps the same manual test steps uh, cases in test specification we do automate in capel script in vt studio so by uh, after uh, compiling this vt studio uh, test scripts files we are loading this build into the canu2 there we are actually running these all test cases in uh, test cases from canu2 i'll show you come like how so this is vt studio 2 this is my project uh, uh, file i already opened it you can see multiple test units are there these all are including functionality as well uh, like read all vt system like a uh, reading all uh, current and uh, supply voltage to the ios and everything including all these uh, kind of activities we we written a uh, test units for functional and also ios validation and also electrical test these all are the units units you can see the electrical test here these all are the tests we perform for electrical so building this uh, all units into the one uh, like which is to really make one executable file that we are adding into the canu uh, project software so here we are uh, uh, running automatically to the vt system so i have to start can uh, before that i have to connect vt system uh, like this from uh by using like lan cable it will connect from our laptop to the vt system then the communication we can traceability everything we can control from canary tool by taking this system and okay so these all the test cases here i selected by clicking this this will start all uh, uh running after uh, automating after completing all execution it will give a html report there we are validating the failures and the analysis this is the process for testing 
and also according to the age press we are maintaining uh, traceability um, uh, consistency reviews and also regression testing all these practices following the all these practices we are getting this test cases tips after completing test execution the report will be look like this uh, it, it will come like a html report with summary and pass fail results uh, you can see here all test case summary in the top how many we executed how many actually was how many failed in deep we can also open each test case and test case steps we can see in report like we can observe our test results in this report so this way we will be analyzing analyzing the re results yeah this is all about the process how we follow for health testing the main benefit of health testing is to like uh, the testing a uh, real hardware with real software that will go into the vehicle we are doing the validation of the real hardware in the loop so with this testing we can uh, like uh, uh, we can decrease number of uh, failures in field uh, like uh, defects like before production that is the main benefit and also with using this system we can measure measure and simulation we can do it automation automatically that is one benefit and uh, and stay tuned for more demo videos coming soon uh, thank you for watching